Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Benjamin Morgan, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys some basic input um, scripting from the mouse. So, by default, uh, we have no, you know, mouse control in the Blender game. And if you want to do something, say, when I left click, um, have the player jump up and down, um, you're going to have to do a little bit of coding. So. It's actually very similar to the keyboard input. So if we go to the API uh, and we go to uh, logic, you'll see that if we scroll down, we have bge.logic.mouse. So that, as I said, is very similar to the uh, keyboard object. So we're going to go in and we're going to make a mouse object. We're going to say mouse equals bge.logic.mouse. OK. So we're basically just going to add one more is statement to this um, set that we had um, from the previous tutorial. So control C, enter shift tab. Let's make this a little separate from it. So we're going to make a comment mouse uh, jump. We're going to have a jump. So it's very simple, or it's very similar to um, the keyboard, except for a couple of things. One, we don't want it to be we don't want our player to continuously jump up when we hold down the mouse button. Uh, that would not be uh, very logical. So if we were to go to uh, logic, <laughs> speaking of logical, um, if you go to logic and you go to the, uh, scroll down, where is it? Um, KX underscore, where are you? I think it's under, you know, why don't we just look? Force. To fix that, uh, we are gonna do game object dot apply force. There it is. So um, basically what that's gonna do is set one force of say, I don't know, one unit in the uh, Z axis to make it go upward. But another thing is we can't have it so that our mouse is um, our mouse is being held down. Um, that's part two of this problem. So what we're gonna have to do is, if you go to uh, where are we? Go to uh, logic. No events. I'm sorry. And scroll down. You'll see that we have that. Those are all the keys. But if you scroll down more, no, it's not there. Okay, maybe it is in. I should be more prepared for this. Um, it is under uh, logic. Yes, logic. Okay, so scroll down. You'll see that we have KX underscore. Uh, just here we go. Here they are. The sensor status ones. BGE dot logic dot KX underscore sensor inactive just activated active and just deactivated. We want just activated. Basically, what that will do is make it so that if we click our mouse, it will jump. But if we hold it, it's not going to do anything. So why don't we just select that all and control C to copy it. Go in here and do if bg.logic. Replace that with just activated. If we click our mouse, it's going to be mouse.events, bge.events. And if we go to the uh, panel again, um, I brought up the bge.events page. And it is here bge.events.leftmouse. That is the basis for that. So if we were to go and paste that in, bge.events.leftmouse. Um, is there a colon there? Yes, there is. Okay. We want to player.apply force, what we just um, went over. And we want it to be, I don't know, positive one on the true. Uh, local z-axis so it's pretty much as simple as that to add this in so we have our player set up to uh, always run this python script with uh, true triggering on let's save this file press play move it around and something's not working let's bring up our console window and see what is not being detected Huh. 
pg.events.mouse.events. Events. Left mouse. And you have mouse. Just added. Apply for exchange email. That's interesting. Maybe it's not high enough. Maybe we should, uh. Oops. He would ruin everything. Uh. No? That's interesting. Okay, maybe we're doing something wrong with apply for. So why don't we go, uh, to bge. What is it? Events or player? Pretty sure it's under logic. So go to um, bg.logic. Sorry about this. And it is under, uh, if we search apply force, don't want to spend five minutes looking again. Game object dot apply force. Uh, force local equals false. So what are we doing wrong with the force? Apply force. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that is why. So the reason why this isn't working right now is because our cube is set to static. And if we go into our Blender game up here and we set the physics type to something that will enable a force on it, like dynamic, and set the collision bounds to box, okay, that's why. Then if we press play and we left click, it will uh, shoot us forward a lot. So <laughs> why don't we decrease that? So one isn't enough. 10 is unnoticeable, 100, barely jump. Ah, yeah, see, but then you also have this thing where uh, you can click, keep clicking, and you can uh, jump up and down, but, hmm. That's, uh, you know, only cheaters will do that, though, so don't do that. So if we now, if we left click, we have our player jump, we can have it move. Let me get a better angle. We can have it move, we can have it jump, and that's all great. So the problem was that we had our character set to static. And if we wanted to be able to have a force applied to it, that's not just its rotation or uh, movement. It needs to be something that's at least dynamic or a rigid body. So yeah, that's the basics of that. I hope you guys learned something about mouses. And uh, <laughs> mouses. I hope you guys learned something about applying uh, the mouse uh, logic to your code and yeah uh please subscribe